and I'm so excited for today's video. Riot Games asked me to make Vayne's updated costume and weapons in time for the new League of Legends season. I spent a whole month making everything from scratch and I'm thrilled to finally share my creative process. The new League of Legends season kicks off today by the way, January 8th, 2021. So if you haven't watched a brand new season opening yet, head over to LeagueOfLegends.com to see all the announcements and news. Vayne is of course one of League of Legends long-standing champions and I got super excited when Riot Games told me that she would be featured in the new season with an updated version of her default costume. In this video, I will show you how I transformed Vayne's Night Hunter design into a wearable costume, including how I made her crossbow weapons. Shout out to Brian Bowling for assisting with the prop build, thank you, thank you, and to Legend of Micah for making an amazing Vayne cosplay video. You can see the full showcase video at the end of the crafting build, so please stay for the reveal. All right, hit the like button and let's make Vayne the Night Hunter. The first thing I tackled on Vayne was her signature giant crossbow. I'm more confident in sewing than prop making, so I wanted to make the crossbow first in case any problem solving had to be done. The main material is EVA foam from my Cosplay Fabrics line, and there's also a whole PVC and metal structure inside because I really wanted to make the crossbow transportable for, you know, whenever we have travel and cons again. <laughs> I should note that I altered the shape of the stock so that my tiny hand could grip and hold the prop up one-handedly. Don't ever be afraid of changing parts of a costume for your comfort. Do what works for you. I have to be honest, I was kind of nervous about painting the crossbow because I had never done a wood grain effect on this scale before. Vane's bow is clearly wood, it is well worn and well taken care of, and I wasn't sure if my method of painting would achieve a convincing varnished wood look. Turns out painting wood is actually a lot of fun. <laughs>
sized up gold crossbow, Vane also has a small crossbow strapped to her right gauntlet. I wanted to make it movable if possible, but we only had a few weeks for the costume. Thankfully, Brian had the idea of using bicycle hand brakes for the mechanism. I ordered a pair and we built the entire prop around the set of brakes using EVA foam. Now for the sewing. This Vane costume is such an elegant update to an iconic design. I think she looks incredible and every bit of the night hunter that she is. By the way, this is the single one part of the costume I didn't have to make because tiny sunglasses are apparently incredibly trendy. So I just found them like this, but everything else on the costume I had to make from scratch. I was able to find all vegan materials for the costumes, such as a dark red upholstery pleather for the coat. This is the navy blue supreme four-way stretch fabric from Cosplay Fabrics. This is part of the spring 2020 collection, by the way. They had to actually express ship this fabric from overseas because it wasn't in the country yet.
part of my fabric line, we have this great brown textured pleather that I use for all the belts and boot covers and straps and such. A note about the hair. So I wanted to do everything to avoid having to make an updo ponytail wig because it would be a pain to style and also not look as realistic. So I made the ponytail with a long clip and west from Arda Wigs and then put my hair in a ponytail and spray colored it black on the day of the photo shoot. Totally worked. Thank you for watching the longest video I have ever made. <laughs> I had so much fun making Vane and I'm so happy to share the full build with all of you. Okay, I also panicked a few times and I forgot to eat on multiple occasions, but it was an awesome challenge. It really got my creative juices flowing and I'm so happy with the finished costume. I can't wait to wear Vane to a convention and meet you whenever it's safe to do that. We'll meet. <laughs> Thank you so much to Ride Games for sponsoring this costume build and for trusting me with your beloved Night Hunter. 
Everyone, go play the new season of League and kick some ass with my girl Vayne, okay? Videos like this one take a lot of time and effort to make, so if you enjoyed it, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and please leave a comment. What is your favorite part on the Vane costume? Uh, is it her crossbow or her coat? I personally can't even decide. I will share more costume builds and cosplay videos in the future, so your support on this video is greatly appreciated. You can find me on social media as well as my website, yayahan.com. Just check the links below. I've also listed links to some of the materials and tools I use to make Vane below. Thank you to Legend of Micah for making the cosplay showcase for Vane with me. Go follow Micah for the cool stunt videos he does. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Happy crafting.